This is episode 74 of Look What Just Found, a bridge version. I end the, um, the long version, and then I start the abridged version. Um, this used to be for members only, but uh, there's so many of them there. And if someone becomes a member, there's like 50 of them, I think, in the, uh, the, the playlist that says members only. So that's plenty. And, you know, we don't have too many members, but uh, you do have that there. But it is members only in the sense that it's scheduled. So it's pretty close. You know, it's just not in that playlist. Um, it does get released to the public. Obviously, the public is watching this right now, so uh, you know. But only the members can can see can see the scheduled videos ahead of time. So this is episode seventy four. We did we did the three rolls. These rolls here are like the the newer ones. These are like the medium ones, and these are the older ones. And sure enough, these two had a lot of uh, zinc. I'll show you right now. And then this one had. I think no zinc at all. When you see these old rolls like this, that's what you want. If you got a hook up in the bank, you know, if you got, if Aunt, you know, Aunt Sue is uh, working at the bank and she had, she could get you these, man, right as rain. Because uh, I'll show you the um, half of the, half of the pennies in that roll were in uh, almost uncirculated condition. And that's really what you want. Okay. Um, yesterday we became monetized. Today's probably the last day that I might talk very, very little about it. You know, this is where I'll put the um, the mid roll um, because it's in between. Um, uh, it's in a, it's in a transition. Like I'm going from here, and I'll start on the pennies. So there'll be a mid roll there. So just you know, chill out through a mid roll. It's the only, you know, a thumbs up, a subscribe, and to and to chill out through a mid roll. That's it. And I put out all this content. If you become a member, you get to to talk about um, videos that are that are up for weeks. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. And um, and that's it. That's what the channel. That's what the channel is about right now. And positivity. You know what I mean? Keep this all positive and. Um, and stay healthy, right? Stay healthy, right? Live, uh, live, live as long as as you as uh, the full life that the Lord has um, has given you. Okay. So, with that said, and without further ado, let's um, get it on. Finally, finally, this guy, man, all he does is talk. Uh, I left the I left the penny. I gotta put my glasses on. That's that's something I have to do in the transition too. Um, when I went, oh, oh my, wow, what a forget it. I put that with the other one. So three rolls I showed you. Those were the zincs. So that's got to be about a roll, maybe a roll and a quarter. Um, of of uh, zincs. These are the coppers, and these are the significant fines, right? So, um. Heavily circulated, fine, uh, finer pennies, and then AU pennies. So I'll show you the AU pennies real quick. Remember I told you about the last roll? That um, that vintage-looking penny uh, sleeve? This is what came out of there. Now remember, you know, it, I, I, I'm, I'm happy that... If anybody watches this, uh, the abridged version, but don't forget, you know, click, click below and watch the, um, uh, see now this one here, what do you think? I think this belongs in the AU, you know, it's a little dark. Yeah. It's still a beauty though. It's just a different tone. I'll still leave that with the AUs. It's just a different, it's not as shiny, but it's, uh, and then I found, oh, let me zoom in a bit. Now I'll zoom in a little. Look at these. Now we found so we found three 
Oh, look, and this one is like super duper gold. Oh, wow. Now, you know what? I'm going to, I'll actually weigh that one. Whenever I see them that they're that, but they're like, they're goldish. I always think that they have an improper mixture. And uh, of course it could be, it could be what's called scent. And that's not scent. I'm not going to say, I don't think it's scenting. It could be scenting, but um, is this the one? Yeah, I think this is that gold one. 314 so it's not overweight it's not you know maybe a little on the heavier side but wow what a beauty huh okay so we got those those three uh, we found one 1959 that's a beauty uh this one see this is this is centering I believe I mean it could be a it could be a kneeling yeah, could you see it? It could be annealing because you could actually see it on the surface. Um, you you would think that's paint, right? But it's not. And you could see it. You could see the redness in some of the. Uh, oh yeah, you can see it there around the seventy three. You see that redness, that pinkish, uh, violet or um, scarlet. It's more like a scarlet. And then you could see where it came out on the face. Yeah, that's pro probably probably annealing. Only because it looks so much like paint. Oh, we found a 2009. That's a beauty. We found a Canadian. See when with the with the Canadians when you do the flip. And um I think it was uh, Sandra that told me that the that the I didn't know that I didn't know that the Canadians didn't make pennies anymore. I didn't know. I didn't know. I found these two disgustos, but really I think that they're, they're pretty good um examples of uh of clad era. Cuz you could see there's something even even out even the part of it that's uh not damaged, it still looks doesn't look right. You know, 1990. And we found another one that was also super duper. You would think it's acid, right? I doubt, I don't think it's acid because I think acid, remember you, these, those dots, they might look big on the screen, but they're pinholes, you know? Um, it's probably more likely that it's just a, it's a clad, it's a, you know, the, the, it's a clad era that led to um, zinc rot. You know what I mean? Because um, that's not normal, right? How come all 1993s don't look like this? And it's not from acid because chances are one drop of acid will cover this whole penny. You know, it's very small. Um, so it's, and also you could look at the rest of the, um, the field. Something's wrong with the rest of the field. So this is a pretty cool example. You can see the really, can see the zinc on the inside. I wonder if I, I seen this thing where they bent it. Can I bend it? I ain't, I know my fingers ain't that strong. Now, if you had really strong fingers, I bet somebody else could. Uh, uh. Oh, man. I bet you if I worked on the, uh, if I worked on my finger strength, I could probably break it in half. Uh, oh, we found this. Man, does th doesn't that look like a D? I don't think it is, though. I mean, I'm like positive, almost positive it's not. But I just thought I would show it. thought it was pretty cool looking. That looked like a D. But it's not. I think it's just, I don't know, you know, just one of those shapes that looks like another shape. We found some 82s. Uh, see, now I see the blister on, on this. I bet you this is a zinc. Let's weigh it. Yeah. So this is a uh, an eighty two zinc uh, large date Philadelphia. Uh, I'm gonna. I bet you this is copper. Let's weigh it. Yeah, three point one. Uh, copper, uh, Philadelphia large date. It is a beauty though. I have, that much I have to say. And then we found another eighty two D, which I don't find too many. 
too many D's. I think this is Kappa. It is 307. If this was um a small date, we'd be getting paid. But it is not. Yeah, the eight doesn't look like the snowman either. No, there's some there's some like I am I'm gonna say that's post mint damage on the D and the two. I know it looks a little bit like a um like a doubling. It does look like doubling. Maybe it is. I don't know. We'll see. I mean the point the problem is it really does it doesn't it doesn't trail out onto the um it, it could be it it could be. Imagine it uh, imagine if that's a um a large date over a small date. Oh my god, that would this would be like forget about it. Well, I'll hold on to this as a uh as an interesting find. Now and uh so okay, so here I'll put another I put another mid roll here. <laughs> I know, I know I'm not supposed to tell you that, but uh, I don't know. Does it really matter? I don't, I don't know. This is all new to me. I don't know what's, uh, what's important, what's not important. I guess after a while, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore, right? I'm just going to do, just going to do it. Um, so that was the significant finds, the abridged version of the long version of episode 74. So it was pretty good. Those I they're my favorite. I gotta be honest with you. I've said it before and I'll say it again that the penny rolls, the old customer submitted penny rolls are my favorite. I really like them. I get all kinds of weird stuff in there as you as you just saw. And You know, sometimes you'll find something valuable. You know, when I say valuable, you know, five bucks, ten bucks. I have the eBay store. I put them on, I put some of these on the eBay store. And um, you can find them there to click, I think, you know, either cut and paste or click the link on the, the about page. That also could help support the channel. Watching through the, the mid rolls or the ads and clicking like and subscribe, all those things help, you know, becoming monetized. Is a uh, it's an accomplishment. I mean, people do whole they do a whole series of videos just on becoming monetizers. That's like their whole um, taking off the I'm taking off the little finger gloves. That's their whole big part of their show is talking about how you know you know and and that's not mine. I talk about it a little bit because it's what's going on. Maybe I'll never do it again after today. You know what I mean? It's just it'd be what it is, what it is, you know, and and um you know, and hopefully, I mean, there's a lot of people who are really supportive of the channel, you know, and and I'm not asking I'm asking I'm not asking for anything. I'm asking for I am asking for something. That's not true. I am. I'm asking for a thumbs up, a subscri a subscribe, and to sit through the sit through a, a few um ads that's it you know people who are more into the channel will become members right so we have a couple members we have uh, as of today i mean by the time this is showing maybe there's a third or fourth or whatever maybe there's not maybe there's one i don't know you know whatever whatever the lord provides then that's you know i will uh be grateful for it and that's all I and so for, for for members they get extra stuff, you know, and they, they pay five dollars a month for daily daily uploads of and, and I mean it's an incredible amount of content that I give uh other channels you get one video a week. That's that's it. That's what you get for five or ten bucks. One video a week. You're getting I, I did a thousand in the past three months. So I know I don't think anybody I have never seen anyone on let me just put that out there right now. I'm not tooting my own horn. 
Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, that that was that was kind of funny. I, know, I got that little toy now, so forget about it. Nobody, I've never seen anybody. And I've been watching coin roll hunting videos for. I, I'm gonna say right. I think Rob finds treasure was from 15 years ago. I, I remember very close to 15 years ago. Maybe it was 13, maybe it was 15, but a long, long time ago watching his his channel. Maybe it was 10. I don't know. I feel like it was 15. Maybe it was 10. <clears throat> Nobody gives extra, but you know, because you can see what you get for the memberships and they talk about what you get as a member. You know, you get a live stream here and I'll do, I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to do all that stuff. But right now, this is it. And it might stay like this. I mean, I might do a live, I mean, I, you know, premieres and stuff like that. But for now, this is it. So you get tons and tons of so members get that, but everyone else, that's what I asked for. Thumbs up, a subscribe, and um, and to sit through a couple ads. That's it. So hopefully that's, I think that's reasonable. I'm a pretty reasonable person. So, all right. Thank you very much. I will see you in episode. Uh, I'm going to do the shorts now. Now I do the shorts. We got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shorts. So we did the long version over an hour. We did the um, the abridged version right now with extra commentary. Usually it's only five to ten minutes. This one's seventeen, I guess, because of the whole monetization thing. And now I'm going to do nine shorts, and um, that's it. This is all scheduled stuff. So um, only the members will be able to see this as I upload them. It takes me. It's now ten thirty in the morning. I've been on it for a couple hours. It'll now take me about the long, the long one, which is like gigs of uh, data, takes like four hours to upload. And I have a fast computer. And it, it is going through Wi-Fi, so I guess that's part of why it's a little slower. But even my Wi-Fi is pretty quick. Um, we have a pretty, we have the the big package for for run um, for data. So it still takes about four hours. This one will take about an hour ish every 15 minutes is about an hour and then the uh, shorts take about uh five or ten minutes each to go up so we're talking about you know in totality another five hours of uh of uploading thumb i gotta do two two thumbnails i don't think any of the finds we have are significant enough for a um a long version maybe there was now that one there's this thing I'm talking about now, the difference between uh, uh, annealing and sintering. I think I'm saying it right, right sintering. Is, uh, they, they, they can be kind of confusing between those two. Um, but I think annealing is more of the, the, the coding and sintering is more of the... Um, the mixture. Is, uh, it's more of the mixture. So I think that's the difference between those two. So if I find something that looks more like annealing, I will do a, um, I'll do a special video on that. But I don't think any of the uh, the coins that I found today does, are going to get a uh, a long form version. Maybe I'll put a, maybe I'll put one of them for um, special content that I I release to the public right away. But otherwise, that's it. I hope everyone's enjoying the videos, and I'll see you on the next one.